Hello everyone, once again it's me, Crocodile 99 and today is all about the Yellow Anaconda. I welcome you back to Reptile Planet. Alright, the Yellow Anaconda. Now these non-venomous snakes are found in South America, Western Brazil, Bolivia, Paraguay, Uruguay, Northeast Argentina, in swamps, marshes, and rivers. Now unlike their larger anaconda cousins, the green anaconda, yellow anacondas are a lot smaller, only range up to around 10 feet, 3 meters. They have a yellowish brown color with black blotches and rosettes. Now, their diet consists of birds, rodents, and fish. They're in the breeding season, just like um, their green and the kind of cousins. Males will um, try to court with a female in a breeding ball with many competitive males trying to mate with the female. And after the, um, after the breeding season is finished, Females can let, can give a, can give live birth up to around 20 to 40, even around to 100 live young at a time. Now, yellow anacondas are amazing animals to see, but I do I do recommend seeing them at a set distance in the wild because in the wild they can get a bit they can get a bit snappy. So if they so especially my other safe distance can get too close. They, if you get caught by their jaws, it will be difficult to get it off. They will instantly start to coil, coil out on your arm. And the power of these animals is just tremendous because like many boas and pythons, they do not have venom. They are constricted, meaning they will asphyxiate their prey and literally squeeze the life out of it. So, and plus, their teeth are curved backwards, so if you just try to like muscle yourself out of their jaws, you'll just end up hurting yourself more and possibly hurting a snake as well. So it's best to like go like go forward since their teeth are curved backwards. Yet let's go forward and then try to get yourself loose out of their jaws, and then you have to try to uncoil them from your arm in case you will wind up in a in a dip, kind of like a death grip. Anacondas in captivity, they are much more for the advanced keepers because some I know some people have these that are highly advanced, but I do not recommend them for kids or like someone who's just like starting to get into the reptile hobby. So I do recommend just for just for advanced keepers because they are a lot of care has to be taken in with them because they do um, range in a um, Kind of like a um, rainforest type of environment. They love water, so it's best to have them be and have a large water source with them if you are uh, keeping them. And they have a very wide range diet. They don't consume like you know like big big foods, but like a like rodents is essential. But I do recommend for them for the advanced keepers because sometimes they can get a bit snappy and a little bit more timidly aggressive. So I. I best would recommend them for only advanced keepers. Yellow anacondas, great animals to see up close, but also best to my level of distance, and also great animal to see in the um, in the um, hobby, in the reptile hobby industry. All right, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, post them in the comments, and don't forget subscribe. I'm Crocker99. This is Reptile Planet, and I'll see you next time. Bye.